so there's a psychologist. Uh, so this is a, this is a, 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 a this is about how people think about risks, and I think it's relevant to uh, climate change, and it's a, a lesson that Sandy has to teach us about how we think about climate change that's independent of the actual physical or atmospheric relation between the two, but it's a psychological relation between the two. So Daniel Kahneman is this uh, Nobel Prize winning psychologist. He wrote this book called Thinking Fast and Slow. Uh, many of you may have read it. And it's about, the, the, as the title says, the two ways people have of thinking. So we think fast when we're dealing with something that's familiar to us that we've experienced many times. We don't really have to process it at an intellectual level and we just react. And that usually works if we're dealing with something that's familiar. Uh, but then if we're dealing with something that's unfamiliar and we're given scientific information about it and we have to run numbers in our head, we have to calculate odds or, you know, then we're not good at that, at making decisions based on that kind of information. So even, even professional statisticians aren't good at it. The psychologists have, have shown this. So, but once something, so if something's never happened to you and you're only told by a scientist that it could happen, then you, sort of don't take it seriously. And that was the case with Sandy. So it was known for decades that there could be uh, a hurricane that could hit New York that could be worse than any had been in the past. And if that happened, that the subways would flood. I mean, scientists at Columbia had shown that very clearly, as well as others even, even earlier. Um, you know, that a lot of infrastructure would, would be destroyed, that low-lying neighborhoods would, would be wrecked. All these consequences were, were known, but the Nothing was really done about it. I mean, we have a, a and we have a very responsive. We had and, and still have a very responsive, competent, scientifically literate local government that did most of the right things in the moment of the hurricane, evacuating people and closing the system, saving lives and property. But the infrastructure wasn't prepared because that took long-term investment. And even with predictions that were made about the need for investment in a more resilient infrastructure, it didn't happen. And that's because nobody had been through an experience like Sandy, and so it didn't. It was hard to. It was using the slow way of thinking. And, and we don't make, we don't do that well. So then Sandy happens, and now everybody thinks it's the new normal, and we're in a different world. But the problem with, uh, and so that's the availability bias is once something happens to you, then it's available, and you start, you use the fast way of thinking, and you tend to overestimate the likelihood it's going to happen again.